Good morning class for I. Today we're going to be looking at how we can use inverted commas in grammar, punctuation and spelling because that's going to help you with your writing task today where you are going to be writing the dialogue between the lighthouse keeper and some of the villagers. So how to use inverted commas for direct speech. Let's have a look at what I've written here. There's lots wrong with it. I really miss class five, Miss Henderson exclaimed. Now, I've not got any speech marks. So I need to put my speech marks in. So I think they go here because that's just what the speech is. Now, I can already hear lots of people in my head going, no, miss, that's wrong. Lots of hands up, lots of confused faces. Why is it wrong? OK, so speech marks go around what the character say. So I wouldn't say I really miss class five. Miss Henderson exclaimed. OK, I would say. I really miss class five. So that's where my speech marks need to go. I also need to put a comma here. OK, because I need punctuation at the end of it. But the punctuation goes inside the speech marks. OK, let's have a look at the next one. Now, this is a little bit different because we've got two children speaking in this part so we need a new line for a new speaker as well so Hartley asked Caleb what are you doing today Caleb replied I'm going to play football in my garden later so we need speech marks but we also need to use a new line for when a new person speaks so we'll move Caleb's down here so Hartley asked we need our speech marks around the bit that Hartley is saying to Caleb we also need speech marks around the part that Caleb is saying back to Hartley. Now, it's really important that your punctuation is inside your speech marks. Punctuation always goes inside your speech marks. OK. So your task is in your pack today. You've got one part that said is dead. So for the said is dead, you need to think of better words to use than said. And then you also need to correct some errors on the bottom of your page which links into what I've just shown you so pause your video when you're ready to do that and then unpause it so you can get ready for our English lesson so we're going to look at dialogue that's why you've done the inverted commas activity today because it links into what I would like you to write so your task is to write the conversation that could have happened between the lighthouse keeper and the villagers you can make up the names as long as it's not Bob or Jeff because that's what we get quite a lot so Example, as the lighthouse keeper approached the door, a loud sigh escaped his mouth. Who could it be? Could his day get any worse? However, when he opened the door, he saw many of the villagers approaching with lanterns. What, what, what are you all doing here? He asked. Well, James, we saw that the light had gone out and sensed that you needed help. Tony, a villager, replied. James was overjoyed to see them stood there. That's so kind of you. We need to quickly guide the boat to safety, James stated frantically. Villagers, lanterns up, Tony ordered. Now, what you'll notice in my example is that I've got other sentences. Other, it's not just a paragraph with all speech marks. So to move the story on, you need other sentences within your writing. So the first part here, I've not started with speech. I've sort of set the scene. And then I've added extra bits. So here James was overjoyed to see them stood there. Could have added a bit more of that. I could have said um, and then went outside to greet them. So you need extra sentences to move your story on as well. So a few things to remember. New line for a new speaker. Inverted commas just around what the character says, not the whole part punctuation inside the inverted commas and also use other sentences between the dialogue to move the story along quicker. OK, I would love to see what some of you have written as well. So make sure you try and get your work sent over to me. Have a lovely day.